Last time we did it, cut off us saying you are now live. Oh. So you can skip forward a little bit. It's all right. This is my place. Okay. Well then, I'm. I'll hold on. The vacuum is starting up again. We have a Roomba, and it runs around the house. And it always Usually starts. Usually, while the kids are at school and we're at work, but it only starts, you know, like when we're in the middle of dinner. Yeah. Hi. Hello, everybody. So we are. We're gonna mix up a bunch of keto chow because. Well, we did 36 of these last week on Sunday, and I pulled the last one out of the fridge last night, which was great that they lasted that long, except this morning when all the uh, kids wanted to have keto chow for breakfast, there was none. There was none. They had to eat delicious eggs instead. That's right. And no, I had two chicken thighs left over from the meetup that Holly and Steve made. Yeah, what, what do you say? I need a protein bar for Oh, yeah, yes. well, because she Maybe forgot to get up on time. Protein bar in church. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so we're making up a bunch. Um, part of that is because two of our daughters who like to steal the keto chow, um, they will be going to, oh, three of them that like to steal the keto chow will be going to girls camp. And we're uh, getting some ready because, well, number one, they want to take some with them because the food that's going to be available is going to suck. Um, number two, I'm going to be going up there on Wednesday. Not all of it's going to suck. I'm going to read you the menu. Most of it's going to suck. How about that? Okay. Bacon, hash browns, eggs, pasta bar, marinara alfredo garlic bread, hamburger, yeah. hot dog, french fries. So they can have the hamburgers and hot dogs. Orange chicken, noodles, ham fried rice, stir fry, fortune cookies. That's the dinner that Haley won't even have anything. Yeah. Because I'm sure the orange chicken will be full of orange chicken sauce. Yep. Uh, pancake, sausage, so they can have sausage. Sandwiches, ham, turkey, and chips. Uh, taco night, ground beef, they can have that. Breakfast burrito, peppers, onion sauce. Mm. Okay, they can have the breakfast burritos without the tortilla. Yeah. Probably. Oh, they're uh, gonna take some more carb tortillas. Chef salad, ham, turkey, cheese, lettuce. That's the one meal that they can have all of it. Hopefully. <laughs> Barbecue chicken, cream sauce, potatoes, green beans, and last but not least, Friday muffins, gogurts, and sunny D and chocolate milk. So nothing they can have. So <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So we're gonna send keto chow with them. So anyway, so we're mixing up a bunch, and yeah, we're doing it with melted butter. So. This is how we prepare. So if you're doing more than like four or five, this is a really good way to mix it up. Let's see. Direct me to a full only keto chow diet test. If you go on the keto chow website, um, there is, well, if you search for 100 days keto chow results, you'll find it on uh, Google. That's my results of doing keto chow only for 100 days. So hold on a second. Just to reiterate what we're doing, we're mixing up a bunch of keto chow. Um, no we're using a stick and a half of keto chow, I mean, a stick and a half of butter per um, three meals of keto chow. So we're doing three at a time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not articulating very well. We're doing three meals of keto chow at a time. We're mixing them up in a um, water pitcher, a gallon water pitcher with an immersion blender. So how do they plan to store them all at camp? Uh, they are going to have a cooler with a bunch of uh, ice packs in it. Um, I'm going up on Wednesday because they need someone to run either the- We've got a mark on the yeah, two quart line. We got, um, they, they need someone to run either the archery range, which I don't know much about, but I can, I can you shoot can a bow. Fake it. I can fake it. Um, or they need someone to run the zip line. Basically, they need someone there in case somebody needs to be carried to help. Is about well, it. Well, so. and help the girls get all fitted yeah. with their things. Yeah. Let's make a couple of them in. So, what we're doing is we've got a gallon pitcher. 
Um, there's a two quart line on it because three meals of keto chow mixes up to be about two quarts the way that I like it, the thickness that I like it. We're doing three, uh, we're doing three meals of keto chow at a time and for the calories that my wife and daughters like, a half of a stick of butter in each meal is right about where they want it. I actually want a little bit more for me personally, but this leaves a little bit of wiggle room. So they don't need snacks. They're going to take snacks, but you don't need to snack. Um, you're actually better off if you don't eat throughout the day and you allow your insulin to go down. So why would you recommend breaking a fast with Kyo Chow? Yeah. You guys sent me the sample packs and I want to have them for lunch this week. Woo! Do it. It works really well. So anyway, so I'm taking the uh, the bottle thing, pitcher, 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 putting in a little bit of water, then pouring in a stick and a half of melted butter. You can use as much or as little as you want. We have a calculator on our website who... Um, calculator is a person. No. <laughs> we have a calculator on our website that will help you figure out how much to use. Um, once these are mixed up, we're putting them in the fridge where they will last... Well, they, they're they good six or seven days after mixing, especially with butter. They're actually good for like nine days. They rarely last that long. Um, we mixed up 36 of these a week ago. And we did a bunch of chocolate. One thing we haven't really talked about is... The chocolate does separate. The chocolate separates and goes to the bottom. Um, but a lot of the other flavors don't separate. And the thing is, like, the the butter doesn't really uh, make a huge thing. It sticks in the The reason why the chocolate does that is because the uh, the cocoa powder separates. And I'm just going around the outside of here to get the stuff that's stuck to the side. One of our daughter chocolate tough. I mean, the chocolate mint is it's her jam. Yeah. yeah, she loves the chocolate mint. Let's see, yeah, so how long does it last one mix, once mixed? Once again, that's, it'll last in excess of six days, usually longer. Um, oh, did you get the other? You didn't get it done. No. Let me put that in there. I'm sure. Yeah. We're, not our, good. we're not on our mixing game. It's Father's <laughs> Day, we're supposed to be celebrating. Instead, we're making food. Instead, I've been standing up all day. Instead, he made his own dinner. I did. And I made the gravy wrong. <laughs> we had biscuits and gravy. Um, we used up the last of our savory chicken soup keto chow to make the to biscuits. Make the drop biscuits. I took a picture. I'll post it. Oh, did it. you? Yeah. That didn't seal. Yes, it did. Oh, I did, did it? it twice. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just didn't hear it click, and I'm like, ah! Hey, there was you can't a. Do it for that. Oh, there was a lady on the Keto Chow Facebook support group this week who posted the picture of her with Keto Chow in her hair. Oh because yeah. Because she awesome. she had uh, shaken it up without I didn't get that. without clicking it closed. So don't do that. Let's see. Ah, oh, so excited to combine this with intermittent fasting. Going to do a dedicated YouTube video about. It. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Um. Anyway, so yeah, we're just we're just putting the uh, keto chow into here. There you go. It's not melted. All no, that's not melted. We'll see how it goes. It's fine. It's the fine. Uh, the blender should make quick work of the uh, butter not being mixed up, not being melted all the way. So. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Shirkin. So, and it's been a while since we've had the chocolate mint, so we're making a bunch of it, all and of it is green. Oh, and we're using warm water. There is a video on the Keto Chow site on the how to prepare Keto Chow using butter that gives a much more thorough explanation of all of this. About how to do it, what to use, blah, 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 you know, yeah. warm water, the whole deal. Oh my gosh, that's caught underneath there. So I'm pouring some water in there to kind of break it up. Gonna hit it with the immersion blender. 
and then I'm going to pour water over the immersion blender to get the stuff off the immersion blender and bring the water up to the two quarter line because that's where I want it. Then I'm going to hit it again and I'll go around the outside and get all the stuff that's stuck to the sides. cool thing so even though we're using butter it doesn't separate when because we're going to put these in the fridge and they will hang out there for a while uh, probably until about Saturday or so um, when we will need to make some more and there's a couple of, hold on there's a couple of clumps in here clumps. Anyway, the the butter doesn't separate out the formal clumps or any of that because of the fiber that we're using, which is it's acacia gum. There's a, a big thing on our website about what acacia gum does, but the, the takeaway is the acacia gum keeps the fat from separating once it's been mixed. Now we have to have it melted and we have to be using warm water you know, above the uh, solidifying temperature, whatever you want to say, of butter in order to get it to mix. But once it's mixed, it stays mixed. Um, and we'll put it in that in the fridge and it'll just hang out there. Now, because the chocolate mint does have some um, cocoa powder in it, yes, chocolate, uh, there will be some separation that goes on but it won't be a lot. Um, and then you just shake it up and it it mixes right back in. Now you can have it cold straight out of the fridge or you could heat it up and pour it into a mug. I'm gonna do some pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice caramel. Oh, put water. Water. Then the butter. 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 Yep. You can use Kerrygold. You can use butter. Yeah, if you want to use grass-fed Kerrygold butter, you can. It's not necessary. Good for you. I mean, if you like the flavor, go for it. If you... I like the flavor. Yeah, but it's really expensive. We're just using regular Sam's Club butter. salted butter. And salted or unsalted, that's entirely up to you. It, it's just if you like the additional salt or not. So that's pumpkin spice. Speaking of butter, Chef Shammy is bringing our witch to KetoCon. Oh, yes. So, if you're coming to KetoCon, if you're coming to KetoCon, come and see us, give us the password. Keto is king. Keto is king, and we'll give you a free sample. Gotta get that butter in the fridge. What the crap? <laughs> now I'm gonna mix this up again. You mentioned a few days you're moving to the store to Draper. What part of Draper? Some settling with the pumpkin spice caramel as well, just because of the spices in it. Um, the eggnog has a little bit of settling, and so does the super doodle because they they have spice in it. Okay, yes, we are going to be moving our warehouse. Right now, we're in a 4,000 square foot warehouse. We're going to be moving to a 17,583 83.25 <laughs> square foot warehouse. If you want to get technical. In the lease agreement, they specify exactly how to calculate the square feet, and it's within the walls. And I measured the whole thing. Pumpkin. It is pumpkin. Um, you got the one that says the pumpkin on it, right? Okay. I measured the space, and it's like 283 square feet smaller than what the lease agreement says. Okay, I can but uh, they weren't budging on it. 
I think their stance was, we don't care how many square feet it is, this is how much we're renting it for each month. I don't care. So, anyway, um, it's going to be on just off of 123rd South. It's actually like 12830 South, um, 265 West. If you happen to know where Swire Coca-Cola is, it's across the street from there. If you ever went to Fashion Corner, it's where Fashion Corner used to be. It's a clothing store. Yeah, well, it's not a clothing store anymore. It's gone. Um, Real Miss Rojo says, I'm excited to learn I can use butter and that I can mix it ahead a few days. And that it's really nice to mix ahead because we're mixing this up. Oh, sorry, sure. And sure, these are just going to sit in the fridge until we need them. And it's so nice to just grab it. It's funny because we haven't had them in a couple weeks. We've been on vacation and a cruise. And just be able to go. Oh, ah. ah, that's hot. Yeah. I'm sorry. I should have just set it down. Here, take the really hot thing. <laughs> <laughs> to just run out the door, go to work, grab the yeah. keto chow, be like, oh, I have something delicious that I know I really like, and I'll oh, have it for scoop. lunch. This one doesn't have a scoop. In. No a scoop. What the heck? Oh, it's because those were ones that I filled up special. This one has a scoop. And so to measure it, just so you know, um, so I'm getting a big scoop and it's usually overflowing. Then I use the side of the bag to make it level. Then you tap it off into there. Easy as that. I hope everybody's having a good Father's Day. Say hi to your fathers. Tell them how awesome they are. Still need to call my dad. Or not awesome. They're not my awesome. dad is in Arizona. Nobody. My niece's wedding. Well, oh. used to, was my. It was my niece's wedding yesterday. Yeah, I thought you were saying she was your niece. She's still your niece. Yeah, I'm still my niece. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, probably. Let's I want to do, do all the bag of mint. I want to do some root beer and some of the creamy tomato base. Only one mint. Too bad. So another reason why we're mixing up a whole bunch of these is with the, well, half of our family is going to be gone this week, and the other half is going to be here, we probably aren't going to be making very intricate meals. Yeah, for four people. We'll probably be copping out and having keto chow for dinner quite a few times. Yeah, and we're going to go out to dinner. I decided we're going to go to a movie. Let's go to Aladdin. What? And... Oh, sorry. Ruth, don't listen. Yeah, don't listen, Ruth. Is this supposed to be chocolate? That's chocolate. Thank you. You got the better one? Yeah. Sweet. Um, Let me put it on the... Yeah, so we're, we're going to be kind of copping out just because when you only have... Yeah, when you don't have to cook for everybody. Have two kids. Yeah. When there's only two kids here, it's like, uh, let's just do keto chow, or let's just go out to eat. Let's go to the park. So, and you can drink keto chow at the park. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's yeah, let's do a couple of the chocolate. Okay, okay. What is your family's go-to keto family dinner aside from keto chow? Uh, we just had biscuits and gravy. That was delicious. We did do biscuits and gravy. We, we used. Done that in a long time. We used Amanda's keto a savory chicken soup keto chow drop it is dip. On our website. Drop biscuit. Drop it just right there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we used that as well as I mean, to make the gravy, you just take a. Um, you just take uh, some sausage, brown it, and then fill up the pan with as much heavy cream as you feel like, yeah. and that's gravy. So. And we didn't put in ah. enough. Oh, you buttered your face. I did. Sorry. It's the first time I've done that. We Let didn't me set this down. We didn't <laughs> put in enough heavy cream, so it was a lot of sausage. Where did the chocolate that I just had go? Uh. It's over there. Did I do that? Maybe. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway. I just put it like a pumpkin. We'll have to watch the rewind and see. Talk about but, what's going on this 
I mean, we're talking about the girls. But we're talking about what our, what's our favorite go-to meals. Steak. Oh, steak, steak. Do a lot of stuff on the smoker. We actually do a lot Brisket, of... Burnt ends. Yeah, it was totally me because I just did it again. Um, I, if I'm copping out, I'll get a whole bunch of... Uh, Sausage. No, I'll get a whole bunch of ribs and just wrap them up in aluminum foil and bake them in the oven. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. So we do that fairly often. Um, if, if we don't have any keto chow made, we'll get some either the folios or some low-carb tortillas and make cheese and meat wraps, microwave them, and yeah. <laughs> That's right. So we talk about this a lot, actually. Uh, low carb, uh, peace, love, and low carb, just like the real thing lasagna is like our favorite lasagna recipe. It's really good. And it's just delicious. And I'll make the noodles, and we'll use that as pizza, um, pizza crust, crust all yeah. the time. I, like, we do that all the time. Mm -hmm. So, and then we had Alfredo, chicken Alfredo this week. We used the shirataki noodles, which we haven't in a long time because our kids yeah, didn't really like noodles. them. But after having no noodles forever, it was kind of like they liked them this time. <laughs> so, and we had four friends over and they all ate the shirataki noodles too. Oh, that's right. That's kind of funny. Because Haley was feeling uh, ready for real food again after being on the cruise and only being able to eat. The meat that wasn't as good as, I mean, it was fine. It was good the meat. bacon was okay, but it was, it was just not too thin exactly and overly the cooked. Same stuff we usually have, so. Creamy tomato basil. So, the creamy tomato basil, this one, we are going to mix up warm, then we're going to refrigerate it, and when I go to eat it later this week, or when Miriam goes to eat it later this week, we will just it pour it out into a mug. And heat it up. And throw some cheese in there? Yeah. I guess you could. I actually kind of prefer the, the tomato using uh, heavy cream. But butter is just awesome. It's, it's got zero carbs. It's, it mixes up a little bit thinner. It's funny it's thinner because butter is so yeah. thick. Oops. I don't have the right size scoop. Oh, for that's the, right. Uh, we should just get a bag. I know. <laughs> so for the tomato basil, I have to wait. Hold on a second. One scoop is 47.61. Okay, 47.61 times 3 equals. You left the cupboard open. 142.83. Oh, did I? Sorry, Sorry. I forgive you. One what, huh? 142. I have containers here. This will work. Cup, 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 cup. Okay, this is, this is the, the riveting part of our show. Well, when Chris weighs out stuff. In a cup. Fancy. Because this bag right here of the tomato basil is a pre-production prototype. And now we've got the actual stuff. And the tomato basil isn't, it's not super tomato-y. Um, and that's just because tomato has a lot of carbs. Like really a lot. So we yeah, actually so have- a couple people said that it's not tomato-y enough. And guess what, add tomatoes to it. You can add tomato sauce if you want. We don't want, we don't want it to be too carby. Yeah. Are you finished? Yeah, I am done. In fact, we'll need to plug back in the Mixer? The mixer. <gasps> Wasn't it nice to be able to find this right where it yes. goes? But yeah, so this one will just, when it's time to. In it does. When it's time to eat this, we'll just mix it, we'll just pour it out into a mug.
it's good, but when you're expecting something else and you go to drink and you're like, what was that? <laughs> So the creamy tomato basil, it's one of the ones that does not have any sweetener in it at all. Because that would be gross. Uh, the, uh, the chicken, the taco soup, the creamy tomato basil, all those are no sweetener. more what? Tape? Yeah, I know. The kids keep on stealing that and I keep on making sure that it comes back. Max oh, what? So let's do a root beer. Root beer. Boot rear. So let's see, you guys got any questions out there in TV land? Instagram land? Instagram land. This is our Breville um, immersion blender. Oh yeah. We've had a bunch of other ones. Um, like uh, we have a small one that we got, from, like Cuisine Art, that we got from Walmart, Walmart. or something like that. Um, and it's fine. It's like ten bucks. This one's like eighty. Actually, it might be ninety. Uh, but it's built like a tank. It just keeps on working and working and working. Um, so. Yeah, we've gone through like three Walmart ones. So we finally just bought the same one for the office. Yeah. Even though we only use it very rarely. Yeah, when we go to different shows and we have to mix up a bunch of keto chow, um, we'll use it there. So yeah, butter with root beer float. I still like it. Butter with root beer float? I haven't had this today. I don't know. Not unless you made it last week. Not really good warm, but neither is the strawberry. Drop up a very short cake. Okay. The other cool thing about doing it with butter and warm water and an immersion blender like this is if you have any problems with clumping at all, they're gone. Um, this just makes it up super smooth and it worked like a dream, so. chocolate mints or one more chocolate mint? Or, and one chocolate. Uh, two more chocolate mints. Yeah, so let's use it all up so there's none left. Yes, let's do it! <laughs> Otherwise, when we go to make it again, there will be none left. And we're using warm water. We're not using super hot water to do this. Um, super, super hot water can actually make the, uh, uh, the protein in the milk protein curl. You don't want that. There's not three purple lids. No, no. I like to make the lids match. Okay. Um, I did not wash that out. At least with the chocolate mint, you know exactly what you're getting because it's green. Because it's green. And it's funny, we, ha we have a bunch of people that are like, I wasn't expecting it to be green. Look at the bag. The bag is green. Yeah, it's a grass. Shamrock shake? What color is it going to be? Green. Your beer is purple. I mean, not really. Yeah, just saying the lid is purple. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, a lot, it's really better to use a glass measuring cup to melt the butter. Because otherwise, well, it tends to break plastic measuring cups. Also, it could be leaching plastics into your It could be leaching plastics, but... That's not good. 
And we're just using blender bottles to store these in, in the fridge just because it's ready to go to shake up. Oh, I need this. Put that in. Get with the immersion blender. So yeah, this is, well that's batch nine, so we've only got one batch left, because uh, we're doing 10 batches of three. And that makes 30. I can count. What? Sorry, it's not ready. Oh, is it not turned on? Well, I only did it for like 30 seconds. Oh. Wave to all those people. Okay, wave, wave, here wave. we go. Hello, wave, people. Wave, wave, wave. They're probably already gone. No, they're not. They're gone. I mean, they're here. <laughs> anyway. There you go. So, yeah, when we are getting ready to go to KetoCon, that is not this week, but it's next week. I hope I didn't drip butter on my dress just now. Oh, I hope so too. Well, there we go. I can run that through the dishwasher. Uh, but yeah, KetoCon is right here at the end of June. And we'll be going to Austin for that. Hello, Wednesday's way of eating. Yeah, we are nearly out of this uh, chocolate mint. Yeah. We, we powered through like two thirds of them. We made a lot of Oh, wow, you would just line those all up over I there. I thought we should have shown up in a shot. Nice. Okay. I like that you mix it. Hey, thanks. Happy Father's Day to your dad, too, Wednesdays. <laughs> if we hadn't just eaten a whole big dinner, we'd probably... Uh, Pour some of this out into a mug and drink it right now. I know, heat it up. Well, it's already hot. <laughs> Nothing like sitting in front of a fireplace in June. Oh, the yeah, it's like we're in Australia or something like that. This is the Man from Snowy River. I think it was Return to Snowy River, the sequel of Man from Snowy River. There's a, a part where there, it's like Christmas time, and the tradition course in England is to burn a Yule log, which makes no sense in Australia. <laughs> because I think that was the show. Anyway, they're burning a Yule log in the middle of the summer down in Australia. Uh, no, this was set in the late 1800s. Oh. Come on, man from Snowy River? Seriously? Uh, Okay. I, I can't think. Anyway, so that is it. No, show them this dollar yeah. of keto chows. Oh, there we go. It's the finished product. So pretty. Yeah. So ten, ten batches of three. The anyway, is, is it nice? <laughs> there you go. All right. So that's it. And oh, Mauricio from Brazil says hi. 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 And, and bye. Bye. So, we're going to go. See you later. Have a lovely night. End it.